And the Oscar goes to... And the Oscar goes to... And the Oscar goes to... One Yale student nailed the winner in five out of the six categories last night. She says she used a complicated statistics formula to do it. News Ace Jason Newton asked her the secret. He joins us live now from News 8 Control with what he found out. Jason? Darren, the odds favor this doctoral student and her methodology. She figured out a way to pick winners and losers, and her results with the Oscars, as you said, were pretty impressive. In a chemistry lab on Yale's campus, a young PhD candidate found new data to plug into a computer code she developed, and it's all about the Academy Awards with their online reviews. What the program does is it goes online and it downloads reviews of um, movies that just normal people have written. Normally, Allison Walker spends her days studying molecules and proteins, but after she read a blog request, Posted on the popular website 538, hosted by famed statistician Nate Silver, she thought maybe her methodology could help. They had a method for predicting the Oscars, but they didn't think it was that accurate, and they were curious with what other people could come up with. They liked her idea and featured it on the website, along with several other submissions, by using keywords like the phrase all time, as in all time favorite movie, or the best movie of all time. Walker's program analyzes winners and losers for six categories the website picked. And with the results now in, Walker's method proved the most reliable with over 80% accuracy. I got five of the six categories correct. The only category I missed was best picture, which is a little disappointing because that's probably the biggest category and the one that people are most interested in. Now, I know some may be wondering if her methods can also be used to predict gambling outcomes or things like Powerball numbers. Walker's advice, don't get your hopes up just yet. Theoretically, there should not be a way to predict the results of that. And while getting rich from, with, uh, from gambling with her method seemed out of the question, Walker said her methodology could possibly be used to predict voting behavior and the outcomes of political elections. It's too late for this year, but she wants to give it a try for the next election season. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Jason Newton.